So boys and girls today, oh my goodness, you get to make surreal art. And again, in that word, we see the word real. And in surreal art, sure enough, they made things that looked very real. This is the painting by Salvador Dali in The Persistence of Memory. And we see these things that look like actual photographs, but he had made it in that tiny little painting. And what's fun about it is even if it looks real, the sur part of that, that is Latin for beyond real. And that just means that it's kind of cool. It's sort of strange, not strange bad, but strange good. And what Rene Magritte would say is, he would say, think of objects that you know that are real, but this time think of them like, could a disco ball be a planet? Could a raspberry be a hat? And where could a crow be where it doesn't make sense or it's different? Today, we're gonna to be using an app called Bizart. And when you click on it up in the left-hand corner, if there's other stuff, don't even bother with that. You're gonna click on that Bizart, that little red button there on the top. And that's gonna bring you here. You're gonna select projects. You're gonna ignore anything else that people have done before you and you're gonna press that plus that says new project. When you do, you'll do start from scratch. You're gonna press that green arrow, and just like that, you are ready to go. Down at the bottom is a button that says graphics. And from there, there's all kinds of categories that you can slide through and look for whatever graphic you want. Now, a word about graphics. Graphics can look like a lot. If I wanted cats, I could use this, but I do not want an illustration. Illustrations are things that were drawn by a human. What you want is a photo. It should look exactly like a real cat because someone took a picture of it. You do not want this. It doesn't look like a photo. These are illustrations. They are not photos. But here, these are photos of food. These are photos of things from fall. Those are the things you can use. So let's start over. You're gonna press the home button. You're gonna put in the password. You're gonna look for the app called Buzzart down there on the bottom. And if there's any nonsense in there, just ignore it. You're gonna go up where, a little higher there, where it says Buzzart on the left. You're gonna say projects. You're gonna ignore anyone else's projects. That's none of your business. You're gonna say plus, start from scratch, and now you have this empty canvas. Press the green button, and on the bottom, you're gonna go to graphics. Now, everyone's gonna be excited. You're gonna see all this tempting stuff. Please, oh please, take a word of advice. You are gonna do this, scroll, 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 just trust me. Don't get distracted by all those options. For your first one, just go to the sweet spot right here. Right in this view, you have animals, music, fruit, food, you even have galaxy. Under that, uh, here I'm showing you again, animals, music, that's where you wanna be for your first one. You can select animals. There's photos of food. There's photos of things from outer space. There's uh, musical instruments. Just start here. Now I'm gonna collect, select this turtle. And when I do, you can see there it is, but, or tortoise, but I have those handles. Do you see those red dots along the edge? We call those handles. That means you've selected that photo you can twirl it around with the rotate button. And if you're like, eh, I don't want it, just press the delete button. But if you're like, oh no, I did like that, just press undo and it will come back. From here, I have to be like, where do I want my tortoise to be? Well, I decided I want him to be on top of a tree because that's sort of random, but I'm gonna have my tree be a piece of broccoli because this is surreal. But I want my tortoise to look like he's in front there. I, want him, I don't want it to look like he's behind. So I'm gonna select on the position button and I'm gonna tell it to go to the front. And just like that, he looks like he's on top of my tree. Now I get to think of a background. Once again, lots of options. 
I don't want you to click on any one of those options that have uh, a little triangle, which means play. It means video. Don't get yourself a video background. On the bottom there are all kinds of options that are helpful, that are photos. We had tropical. Here's nature. Here is, yeah, down there on the bottom. Here, underwater. There's so many cool underwater ones. Here's, I am going to go through here and I'm actually going to click on travel. At least I think I am. You also see space back there. And I just happened to notice under travel a picture of Machu Picchu. So when I select that, I can resize Machu Picchu and make it just the way I want it to look. Now I got this random tortoise on a broccoli tree in Machu Picchu, and now I'm going to do overlay. Please don't choose a moving one. This is not a video. But down on the bottom, you're going to have options like butterflies and feathers and petals and all kinds of light streaks. I'm actually going to select the one that says bubbles. And down there, I can kind of see what they're going to look like. I'm clicking on one of them and I'm like, oh yeah, that is hilarious. My turtle is blowing bubbles on a broccoli tree in Machu Picchu. I'm going to move that overlay so that bubble is coming right out of his mouth. And just like that, I love it. I want to save it. I'm going to push the red box with the arrow coming out. I'm going to press save right there, that red button. And when you see that saving going around, you're done. If you want to start over, go to the upper left-hand corner where there's that arrow going to the left. And just like that, you click on new project. And then you're going to start all over again. Now, I had this crazy idea of taking a mascara thing and turning it into trees. If I select that thing, and I can tell I selected it because I have red uh, little handles around it, I can press the duplicate button and it will just keep giving me more and more and more and more and more and more mascara and I can resize each one as I go. Now I thought, what am I doing this for? I should get a background. So I went down there and I chose something or other and I ended up with this. And so now I'm taking each mascara and I'm moving around because I want them to look like they're mascara trees for which I have no idea why, but that's what just what I'm doing because I'm doing surreal. It's real, but it's kind of strange, cool strange. And then I thought, oh, I should really have something up in the sky. So eventually here, I chose a pair of glasses and I wanted to put eyelashes on my glasses. When I did it, I want my mascara, my lashes to fit. So I clicked on transform and then distort. And distort allowed me to move it so that I could get it to be exactly the size that I needed. Have fun.